Hey everyone, welcome back or to the channel. Uh, this is Big D Smokehouse. And as you can see behind me, there we go. We're gonna do a gun o'clock. So on this crisp Saturday, September morning, it's only about jumping. I think it's only in the high 40s right now. Beautiful weather. Oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, we're gonna do a big old spatch, spatch cock, hmm. Spatch cock turkey. I'm not going to edit it out either. I'm going to leave it. Spatchcock turkey. There, I said it fast. So, let me uncover it, and I'll be back with you. And we got her started. I got the turkey all spatchcocked up in the chicken. I mean, all up in the chicken. I'm having some issues today. It's been one of them weeks. Up in the kitchen, we got a spatchcock resting. I'll bring it out here and show you in a minute. But you all know how to spatchcock. I'll explain. But I got my charcoal in there, got a couple of tumbleweeds. I'm going to be using mostly charcoal today. Maybe I'll throw a few logs on, but it basically it's going to be cooking with charcoal today. So here's the door. As you can see, we got the sucker going. Let's take a picture of this. I'm going to try that right there. Oh, look at that. But yeah, so we're gonna let that warm up. Let that get up temp. Close this sucker down for a little bit. And that should never happen. You should never have cobwebs on your stuff. That's my apologies to you all. That's just wrong with me. That That's, I may have to spend a few days in the old smoker rehabilitation class. So yeah, that should never happen. But I've been using my other smoker so much that I haven't got a chance to get the gunner. So we got her opened up for right now. Let her sit there. Let her do what it's got to do. And we shall return. There we go. I, I'm extremely, and I've told you this before, I'm extremely impatient. I got her going now. Got it open. Got the vents wide open on both sides. As you can see right there, right underneath there, right there, I got it open. I even got the fire door open a little bit to get some air. I'm extremely impatient, um, which is which is fine. Don't judge me. But I'm like I said, I'm basically going to cook with charcoal today. Um, I got a log on there right now just to get everything going. But I'm going to cook the turkey basically with charcoal today. So yeah, I just want to get that going, get it fired up, get a good base going. And then what I need for charcoal, I'll just add some on. So yeah, let's close this up. Actually, I'll leave it open a little bit. It ain't going to hurt anything. So yeah. So, here's my turkey. Big old 15, 16 pounder. Good enough to feed my family. So yeah, we got it sitting right there, all ready to go on. It's gonna go right there in the middle. It's gonna be good. Be back when you put it on. This is a little side um, project that's not going on right now with the cooking. A patio, yes, Dad. A patio is gonna go right here. A big patio, and actually, it's gonna extend what another three feet. So either I'm helping Dad or Dad is helping me. We haven't determined. That yet. Help you determine yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> but yes, it's going to be pavers and gunner's going to sit over here. There's going to be a fire pit right here in the middle. And then I'm eventually going to build an old drum, ugly drum smoker. And that will sit somewhere that's in the there. And no, 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 that's not the end of the smokers. Yeah, she's, she's climbing up there now. I want to keep it around 350 right there. That's the highest I want to go. I don't want to go over 350, but I don't want to do a low and slow today. I just want to have it for lunch. I got some family. We got a bunch of family getting together. So I'm going to keep it between three and 350. And I, I, I got to tell you, I, I absolutely love this thing. I mean, this is the new handle I got on there. My sign that I've got. Turkey sitting right over there. But yeah. Just waiting for it to come up temp. You can see the flame in there going good. And I have actually learned, keeping the vents open on both sides, I can regulate the temp 
with the fire access door. Close it, shut it, uh, open it halfway. I can regulate the temp just as easy if I just keep those vents open and open this up a little bit. Works perfect. But yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this thing. Yeah, see, there's the help sitting right over there. <laughs> there's the help. But yeah, remember, like I said, it was, it's going to extend up. That's where it's going to stop right there. So it's going to be from where the edge of that is right there to right here. And then, like I said, gun is going to sit over there. The new ugly drum smoker that I'm going to build is going to sit somewhere over here, fire pit in the middle. So, yeah. <laughs> you please save room for a seat for me? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Stu. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm cooking. Come on, I'm cooking. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as like, oh, yep, see, temp's getting up there, good. So I'll put her on here in a second. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can hear the sizzle. Oh, I love it. So I've got the turkey on, got it seasoned, just salt, pepper, garlic, some onion powder, nothing spectacular. That's what we all like, so that's what we're going to get. Obviously, temp went down because I've got the thing wide open, door wide open. So let us sit. I'm not going to open it up, adjust it with the fire door over there, adjust my temp, and then in a little while we'll be back to check it out. And like I said, I'm cooking with charcoal today. Might be able to see it. Yeah, you can. I got the wood just to keep the flame going there in the beginning, but I'm just going to keep adding charcoal. I don't feel like cooking with wood today. So I got the Kingsford, and I'm just going to be cooking with charcoal the whole entire thing. But like I said, I can regulate this. No problem with the door. Yeah, see, it's staying right where I want it to. But as you can see, the wood is just about all burnt out. I've added more charcoal. Airflow is still good underneath. But yeah, that's how I'm heating it today. Just using the old Kingsford original. And no wood. I don't want a heavy smoke flavor today. So just using that. Okay, there's spatchcock turkey 101 right there. Of course, once again, the wife does a better job at this than me, so she's going to carve. My niece came over. Hi! So, should we tell her her, her name? Okay. Do you want, you want your name known? Yeah, sure. Do you, Ashley, do you want me to tell them your name? <laughs> you sure, Ashley? Do you want me to tell them your name? Tell them I'm single, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's single and 21, yes. Oh, look at the juice coming out of that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Tell you what, i got to learn some skills because you know exactly what to do when it comes to carving this, Not really. this stuff. I'm pretty well, then, don't, see, don't say that. Well, see, I because it looks really... like you know what you're doing. Well, I don't. I've never spashcocked or spashcocked. Or okay, now I'm really starting to. A turkey before. I've done a chicken many times, but never done a turkey. Oh, look at the crust on that. Yeah, so there we go. And there's the turkey right there. So you're doing great. Let me hold this side. Thank you. Oh, that's hot, hot. So be careful, careful. Yeah. I mean, look at that, you guys. Look at all that. Ju look at the juice coming out right there. Look at that. I mean, look. Look at that. Oh. It's done perfect. Yes, it is. So, I'll be right back with you. We'll get it carved up. We'll do a taste test. Okay, here we go. Here's the taste test right here. Hopefully, you can get me in it. Okay, here we go. That's good. That is juicy. Oh, my word. I've never had one so juicy. Oh, my. Yes, that was my mother right there, but, of course, oh. she's going to... She she would say if it wasn't, but, oh, my word. Oh, my word. Wow, that is good. So, if you ever get a chance to spatchcock a, a turkey, you wanna do, that? do it. I've never had a turkey so juicy and so... Full of flavor and pump. Oh my word. So, yeah, we'll do a final recap here in a few minutes. There you go, guys. Spatchcock chicken on Gunna here. It, it was, without a doubt, the juiciest, tenderest, most flavorful turkey I've ever had. I've never spatchcocked a turkey before. And I know I'm not saying it right, I know. But anyway, so yeah, it's, I gotta put Gunna up here pretty soon. 
and I hate to because I absolutely love this. I love this thing. I mean, I love this thing. So yeah, uh, like, share, subscribe. Much appreciated. Thank you for all the love and support so far. Uh, I'll do the little t-shirt thing down below here. Uh, until we meet again, this has been Derek from Big D Smokehouse. Catch you on the next video.